What's up guys, Hayden here from Alarm System Store again, and today we're gonna to be setting up a DSC Neo communicator from Alarm.com, the TL880. This is a dual path communicator, meaning it uses both cellular and IP. Cellular first and IP as backup. So here in a minute, I'm gonna show you guys how to wire this up, but just know there are two components to this. There is the actual communicator, which is this that I'm holding, and then there is a daughter board that goes inside of your panel. I'm gonna show you how to hook all of it up. Main thing you need to pay attention to is the wiring from the daughter board to the communicator. Yeah, so let's hop over the table, I'll show you how that's done, and then afterwards I'll show you how to enable the communicator through programming, and then once it's enabled, it does a sync and it pulls all your information, sends it to alarm.com, and you will be good to go. All right guys, so all I'm gonna be doing today in this video is following this guide that I made for the TL880 installation. Now this is more geared toward if you got service from us, because this walks you through exactly how to install the communicator as well as get it activated through us alarm system store. All right guys, we are here at the panel. I'm gonna show you where to clip this daughter board into. Um, using these little standoffs here on the right side of the cabinet as you're looking at it. Uh, this is going to sit with the terminals facing outward, just like this. Now, in a moment I'm gonna pull this back out I'm going to show you guys how to wire it up, but for now I wanted to show how to connect to the PC link cable. And we got a PC link here. Um, you're gonna wanna pay attention to the red wire. The red wire on the daughter board is going to be facing the majority of the board. So it'll be on the bottom side as you're looking at it. Now, to connect the PC link cable to the Neo, Look to the top, there are two PC Link connections. PC Link 1 and PC Link 2. This has to go on PC Link 2. It will not work if it is on PC Link 1. And on these ones, there is a red label. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's right here. And that is the side that the red cable will go on. So it will be on the right side as you're looking at it. Pop that on. And that is all the connection that goes to the main board. Here in a moment, I'm going to pull this out and I'm actually going to show you how to wire this to the communicator. Um, it's easier with it out of the cabinet. So I'm gonna pop it out real quick and I'll be right back. So I got one four wire cable and that is gonna be for the TX and RX terminals. And then I got a two wire, it's technically four wire, but just using the red and black from that one and that's what we're gonna use for power. So on this, we are going to be using the yellow and green, white and green for TX, and the red and black for RX. We're gonna use red on RX positive and black on RX negative. So there are those four wires, and let's go ahead and connect the power wires. And those are going to go on the 12 volt positive and the ground on the right side of the board as you're looking at it. Make sure you get them snug so they don't come out, but don't over tighten. You can break the terminals. And now let's move over to the TL880. So ideally you want to feed the wires up through this hole right here. So we'll do that. Now this is the four wire. So we are gonna be hooking it to the TX and RX terminals. So we did yellow or white. We did white and green on TX on the small board. So those are gonna go on the RX terminals on this board. So white was TX positive. So it is going to be RX positive on this one. Green was TX negative. So it's gonna be RX negative. And red on the daughter board was RX positive. So it's gonna go on TX positive on this one. And black is gonna go on the TX negative. Now we're gonna feed our power wire up into this 
and red is gonna go on the 12 volt and black is gonna go on the ground. If you flip this over, you'll notice there's kind of a, a divot there. You can feed these wires down into there to hold them in place, like so. And I'll make sure they're down in there nice and tight because this tamper switch right here is very sensitive. A lot of times we have to put cardboard behind it just to keep this depressed enough so that the communicator doesn't show a tamper. Okay, so I have taken the daughter board and reinstalled it back into the main panel. Uh, we've got our PC link connection here, and this is what your final product will look like inside the main cabinet of your DSC Neo. And I'm going to hop over and show you what the keypad will show whenever the communicator is installed properly. Okay, so we are powering up our DSC Neo. As you can see, it's going through the startup sequence. Uh, we're gonna give it a minute. And then I will show you how to enable the communicator. Okay, so now that the system's loaded up, I do have a trouble here. I just don't have a siren hooked up, so it's showing a bell circuit trouble. Um, first things first, let's get into programming. So star eight, five, 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 five is the default installer code. Then we are gonna to go to section 382. It's gonna be comm options, uh, communication options. So under this section, we are going to scroll to the right until we get to option five. That is gonna be alternate communicator. Now that is technically what the TL880 identifies as. So we are going to hit the star button, make that a yes. And then we're gonna hit pound until we back all the way out. And what we've done is enabled the communicator. Um, if you'll watch, it's going to start talking to the communicator. And here in a moment, it will pop up and say, alarm.com module, okay. Oh no. So if you heard that beep just a second ago, we actually do have a trouble. One of my wires broke. Um, so the ground is not connected. So what you will see when that happens, if you go to star two and then scroll over to communications, hit star it says fault alternate com so i'm going to fix the wiring real quick and then we will see what it says afterwards so i fixed the wire i reconnected it to the terminal and now let's see what we are showing there is another communication trouble Okay, so I went through and I fixed the wiring. Made sure everything was fine. Double checked everything. And what you're going to look for after you have enabled the alternate communicator and everything is cleared up, all the troubles are gone, it is going to pop up and say alarm.com module okay. It may take a moment. From here though, as long as it's popped up and said alarm.com module is okay, what you're going to do is send a system test. So to do that, you are going to hit star six and then enter your access code. 
which is your master code. One, two, three, four is the default. And you're going to scroll to the right until you see system test. Option five on the Neo. Hit star. Everything is gonna flash and freak out for a second. The siren will go off too if you have one connected. But what that did is tested all of the aspects of the system, the siren, the sensors, all of it. So essentially what that did was sent a signal out to alarm.com to make that initial communication. Uh, now that that is done, you may pull up your login email, create your login, and then you can activate the rest of your notifications for alarm.com and use your interactive service. And that is all you will need to do to install and activate your TL880 and Alarm.com interactive services. So, I will catch you guys on the next one.